So there's still a lot of talk out there. I hear it every day. How in the world is the US producing more oil and gas than it ever has if our rig counts are down so drastically? <clears throat> we did another video. I'll put the link to that in the comments on why exactly that is, but this touches it, okay? So this article <clears throat> is in Cowboy State Daily by, uh, I believe that's Mr. Pat Mayo on January 11th, titled 50 million effort. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I had the crud like everyone else the last couple of weeks right after Christmas. I'm still getting over it. $50 million effort on to pump Wyoming's hidden oil and gas. So, <clears throat> starts out, University of Wyoming has partnered with major energy and chemical giants to develop new technologies to squeeze more oil and gas from wells that are difficult to pump out. The partnership is expected to put Wyoming on the map for researching advanced oil recovery techniques. So that's what we're talking about. These. <clears throat> These advanced oil recovery techniques are how uh, we are producing more and more per well, especially these wells that are already drilled. Um, private energy behemoths, big companies, will put up $25 million to the partnership called the Wyoming Gas Injection Initiative. So you guys look this up, which is expected to revitalize the state's legacy oil fields through cutting cutting edge lab experiments and field pilot tests. So they will pitch, the state will pitch in another 25 million. So that's where you get the 50 million. Okay, quote, something this magnitude in one geographic location, in one place is, if not unique, certainly very rare, says Mohammed Piri, who is the founder and director of the University of Wyoming's Center of Innovation for Flow Through Porous Media, he told Cowboy State Daily on Thursday. Quote again, if expanded, this will put Wyoming at the forefront strategically of these technologies. Okay, guys? So if you want to invest, look at Wyoming, especially since we did another story on <clears throat> the Biden administration is signing a ton of leases. They're getting in trouble for that too. They're signing a ton of leases um, out in Wyoming. Okay, a lot of money to be made. The enhanced oil and gas recovery technologies for the partnership will be developed by University of Wyoming's, um, um, oh, that acronym, I haven't memorized it yet. The innovation for flow and porous media alongside titans of the energy world. So new technologies, once developed and rolled out, could generate millions of dollars in royalties for Wyoming, says Peary. There's a lot of money to be made, he says. If successful, these techs could then be scaled for our energy fields. And yes, that could translate into generating revenues for the state. <clears throat> So Wyoming is looking to make some money. The energy firms attracted to the partnership include a who's who's list from Wall Street. Yeah, I bet. They include Midland, Michigan-based Dow Chemical Company, Billings, Montana-based oil and gas exploration firm Ballard Petroleum Holdings, LLC, Oklahoma City-based oil and gas exploration and production firm Continental Resources, Oklahoma City-based energy exploration firm Devon Energy, and Houston-based exploration firm Occidental Petroleum Corp. <clears throat> we were thrilled to see the caliber of companies and level of capital commitment, period. So quick note, look at those companies. If you work with those companies, see what you can do so that they can drag you to Wyoming. Um, I know that's what Surtex doing. Okay. Well, we already work there, but we don't work there with uh, these particular companies yet. Okay. WG 
II will not fund any new wells. So there it is. No new wells. Okay. This is technology to extract even more out of what they already got going on. They don't want to drill new wells. So pay attention to that. Sorry, guys. Okay. Instead, it will focus on boosting production in the state's mature fields in Campbell, Converse, and uh, Johnson counties. The university's innovation center believes will generate appreciable increases in total production in those oil fields. Quote, this would be a great benefit to the state in private sector job growth, as well as correlated mineral royalty gains, Fury said. He will devote two years to laboratory study of Wyoming Reserve rock, along with tests to determine which processes and injected um, additives give optimal production results for each oil field. <clears throat> we are one of a select few labs in the world that can replicate reservoir production conditions while reviewing what happens at multiple scales, he said. By 2026, um, the operators hope to apply the lab findings and pilot test wells in other parts of the state. Last quote, if you want next level solutions and market leading productions, the action is in Wyoming. So if you have a service company, if you have money to invest, if you're looking to move to Wyoming, Wyoming might be a good place to look for oil and gas. Unfortunately, no new wells drilling, but they're going to be kicking a lot of ideas around. Okay, so this is the end of the article. What do you think? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I'll put a link to this article and a link to some other relevant stuff down um, in the description if you like what you heard please like please subscribe please share so that you can continue to get your energy science industry and regulatory news um, to feed your work and investments and remember the science in our hands falls at our feet knowledge in our heads and god at the helm the future is ours to build